Okay, so I hope you're all ready for what is going to be, and I don't say this lightly, a classic episode of The Daniel Boland Show. Who's Daniel Boland? Daniel Bolland, this is a heavy hitter. Do you guys know who this is? So in today's video, we're covering a topic that I have on occasion touched on, and that is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And I've got to say, today's video, it's a pretty big scoop. Or should I say, coop. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle adopt Ellen DeGeneres' chicken named Stinky. <laughs> After being bullied by her flock, and will now live out her days at the couple's $14.5 million Montecito mansion. How mad is it that even Ellen DeGeneres' chickens get bullied? Allegations of a toxic workplace culture, harassment, sexual misconduct, and assault from top producers on the show. It's just the toxic environment she's created. I mean, it must be pretty bad if it's rubbing off on the livestock. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have adopted one of Ellen DeGeneres' ailing chickens, which was being bullied. There's honestly nothing as delicious or as impressive, in my opinion, as a perfectly roasted chicken. The former talk show host, whose sprawling $25 million Montecito compound is just a five-minute drive from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex $14.5 million mansion, took to Instagram on Saturday morning to update her 139 million followers on the progress of Stinky, a rescue chicken. 139 million followers. Let that Sink in, as all the kids say these days. 139 million people, unironically, eagerly awaiting updates on the well-being of Ellen DeGeneres' chickens. And don't get me wrong, I'm not that out of touch. I mean, I know people can have an enormous social media following if that's what they do. I mean, God knows I'd love 139 million followers on any platform. But how are there 139 million people following Ellen DeGeneres. That means they've seen the show, the show finishes, and they go, that's just not enough for me. I've got to seek her out. I need updates. How can there be 139 million of those people? The only people who should be following her are like super fans, journalists, celebrity friends. I could understand her having 100,000. I could understand her having a million. 139 million people thought, I need to know more. You know what Ellen DeGeneres' fans should be called? Degenerates. Yes, I am very pleased with myself. Thank you. Animal lover DeGeneres65 has been sharing regular health updates with fans about Stinky, who suffered a broken fibula bone in her leg shortly before Christmas. Oh no, and shortly before Christmas too. The worst time for a delicious bird to fall foul <laughs> to an injury. And in Ellen DeGeneres' house of all places, they haven't had cock in years. <laughs> That's beneath me. Ellen revealed that she and wife Portia de Rossi called the rescue bird Stinky because she stinks of shit. I'm, uh, I'm in a bit of a silly mood tonight, and um, I apologise. These are not the high journalistic standards that you've come to expect of the Daniel Bowen show. I know, and uh, I will strive to do better. I know it's a stupid name. You can blame Steve Carell for that. He named her Joke DeGeneres, referring to the office star Carell, who is also a close friend. Ooh, name dropping about who named your animals, eh? Mm, they were right about you, Ellen. You are toxic. Well, two can play at that game. Say hello to, uh, Shelley, everyone. Don't worry, we'll put you back now, Shelley. Now, we're very modest in this house, and we gave Shelley a name that most people assume is just, oh, tortoise, they have shells, Shelley, right? Well, no, actually. Uh, we named Shelley after a character played by our very good friend, Sally Lindsay, actress uh, from Coronation Street a few years back. Uh, I'm sure you all remember her. She played Shelley Unwin, right? And uh, people don't believe me. Uh, because uh, why would I, I never mention it? 
Uh, so that's why they don't believe me. But uh, there are photos. Look, that's me with her there. But while Stinky's leg successfully healed, the bird was being bullied by Degenerus. Other rescue chickens, hence her relocation. The chickens have large talons. Writing under a picture of Stinky, enjoying a meal of fresh lettuce, Degenerus said, Stinky's leg is fixed, but our chickens were still picking on her. And then there was an investigation. So she had to be fired. Rehomed. Luckily, our friends Harry and Megan's coop had room for one more. If you have an Ina Garten level roasted chicken, game changer. Not sure yet what her royal title will be. Ooh, a royal title for Stinky. Well, with Megan's uh, strong Nigerian heritage, I think I would suggest Stinky Babington Ashai III. If you know, you know. Fans immediately offered suggestions for Stinky's new regal name. Oh yeah, get a load of these neurodivergents in Ellen's comments. My word. Her <laughs> Royal Highness Stinky offered one, while another suggested Lady Stinkington would be such a cute royal title for Stinky. So Digby Chicken Caesar. Another gushed, Stinky is lucky. Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet will spoil her. Oh, I'm sure any hempecked creature will feel right at home with Harry and Meghan. And look, if that's not the case, and uh, Stinky still has social anxiety around Meghan and Harry's kids and their chickens, then I don't know. But maybe this is God's way of saying that uh, this uh, Stinky's time is up, right? He's a little bitch, okay? I, I don't know. Chickens are pretty brutal, aren't they? Yeah, any imperfection in one of their group, it could be their brother, their sister, their best friend, and they'll just peck it to death. Uh, it's Kafkaesque. It says a lot about society, doesn't it? If you think about it. During her infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey, when she accused members of the royal family of being racist for questioning what colour Archie's skin might be, Meghan revealed, I just love rescuing, as she gave Winfrey a tour of her coop which is named Archie's Chick Inn. <laughs> the hens were rescued from a Californian factory farm. Megan told Oprah the coop was part of her plan to live authentically and get back down to basics. And that's exactly what she did, back to basics. They're like uh, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie in that show they did. What was it called? Uh, uh, Country Life. Country File. Uh, Blue Planet with David Attenborough. No, uh, The Simple Life. Is that what it was called? That program where uh, they were pretending to be poor uh, by, you know, running around with chickens and stuff. No one Great memories. Uh, okay, huge announcement I have to make today. I've set up a Patreon account and uh, the reason is basically I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of things I want to talk about and ways, oh ways, that I want to talk about them. I'm uh, I'm pretty risque. I'm quite dangerous. Mm, I'm a bit of an edge lord on my, on my days off. Uh, I've I, I've got things I want to do. All right. I want to broaden my horizons, and uh, YouTube won't necessarily let me do that. Not without thorough checking and rechecking every minute of every video I make, just in case I've. Um, you know, said a wrong word, and uh, I, I I can't deal with that anymore. So I'm going to be making a lot of new videos and putting them behind a paywall on Patreon. And it would be fantastic if a you know a percentage of you that watch me here on YouTube, hundreds of thousands of you every month, uh, if a percentage of you came over to Patreon and um, sort of uh, stabilized my life a little bit more, that would be it'd be fucking fantastic. Frankly, it would be amazing. It would mean the world to me. However, no pressure because I am going to be making videos here on YouTube just as many as I ever did. But I'm also going to be making them on Patreon as well. So I'm going to be running myself into the ground. Uh, we'll see if I'm dead within a month. But uh, I'll see you over there. Or not, I'll see you here on YouTube. Thanks for watching whatever you decide to do. The link is in the description or under the video in the pinned comment. And... Uh, you can find Daniel Boland on Patreon. Go and check it out. I'll see you in the next one. And just one more thing, by the way. This is the uh, first video that's going to be on Patreon. I'm putting this video on YouTube and on Patreon. However, if you go over to Patreon and, uh, you know, 
uh, become a member, you'll see the alternative ending that uh, this video has. It's pretty damn edgy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.